Hey everybody, Rex here. I'm glad you can drop in because uh, I'm in the mood for a little image transfer work today. Now, the other day I put up a video, it was on doing images on these ceramic tiles. And I did it because there was a uh, viewer who uh, had trouble putting images on ceramic tile. And one of the things that I uh, had uh, discovered during um, the video that I made of transferring images onto a ceramic coffee cup that it, it has this glaze over it, right? And uh, nothing sticks to those glazed surfaces, the shiny glazed tile surfaces. So what I had done in that video was I came across this armor etch stuff. You probably see it right there. And in three minutes, that stuff takes the glaze right off these tiles. And by doing that, we're able to transfer images onto white ceramic glazed tiles. And I thought, you know, there are so many things that you can do with these ceramic tiles that would be just so cool that I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go get me some more of them tiles. Ah, ah. And folks, that's exactly what I just did here. I went to Home Depot. I just carried out, well, I paid for it, of course, but I bought me 100 uh, tiles, about 12.5 square feet worth, so that I can do a whole bunch more. Woo! Man, look at that. There's a hundred of these puppies in here. Anyway, case like this of a hundred runs you 15 bucks. And that is a whole lot of crafting going on right there. All right, so if we're going to use all these tiles, oh gosh, might as well get a cracking. One hour later. Okay, so what I have here are some photos that I mirrored and printed it on the Rick's Can Do It Quick Transfer Paper. You can see where it says print on the other side, right there and there. So I'm printed on the correct side. And next thing I need to do is I need to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these really nice colorful photos. These are uh, photos of my wife and I when we were a lot younger. See? Yay. Still wore hats back then too. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one out. Now this one here, I think I'm just gonna cut out the excess on the sides I don't need. All right, there's an old photo. There's me and my wife and my sister, my mother, and my uh, daughter there. Um, I don't know how old she was, probably probably less than a year old right there. So this, this is about 20, nearly 27 years ago. And then there's my wife and I on one of our vacations. I believe we, not sure where we went. We used to travel a lot back in the day. All right. And I don't, I don't need all this. Let's see. So. I'll just cut that part out. Okay. Yeah, all right. So anyway, these are the images I'm going to start transferring onto uh, tile and wood. 
I'm gonna do both. Now I got all this wonderful tile here. A couple of things I want to bring to your attention. Very important. This tile right here, this one, I have removed the glaze. So if you look and I try to get the reflection off of it, you can see that the you get a reflection, but it's not like real shiny and bright as compared to this. I'm gonna let you see this so you can compare. You see the you can see the ring light image. See that? But you can't see it here because I have removed the glaze, see? And that's what you want to do is you want to remove the glaze and use this Armor Etch stuff. Um, I bought this, they didn't send this to me, though it would have been nice. Okay, now here is one that I removed the glaze, but you might be able to notice a little, right, right there, you see that area right there and a few spots right here? This is a tile that I used the armor etch and I didn't do a very good job. I can see my finger, finger swirls in here. Make absolutely sure you get every bit of that shiny glaze off of it. It has to be 100% gone because anywhere that you have that glaze, it will not stick to this shiny stuff. All right, it will just come right off. So. When you think you've got it done, put it in a light and just kind of move it around like this. And if you see, there you go, see the little reflection coming off of there? You know that that's not good. You want it like this one right here, all dull. See, nothing, because I did a really good job of getting the glaze off. So you might have to do two applications if you, if you didn't spread it well enough on the first. So I'm going to put it on this tile because that one's, that one's prepared. But I want to show you another tile here. I was experimenting with um, some paper. This, this paper that the quick transfer paper is made of has 25% uh, cotton uh, in it. It makes it stronger and it gives it even um, a better absorbance um, qualities for when you moisture the back. But I thought I'd experiment with some other papers I had around and put my coating on it, see what happens. And I got less than desirable results. And because of that, uh, I had put on this butterfly on here. Uh, I, had did, I didn't do that on a, on a video. This is the one I did in a recent video, it came out perfect. But I did one here that had some spots missing and stuff. And so what I did is I took a can of spray paint, white spray paint, and uh, I just sprayed over it. And you could probably just make out the butterfly underneath there, but hopefully it'll get covered up by the transfer. So I'm hoping the transfer will work on that. I think it will. So I'm gonna have two tiles that I'm gonna do. One is painted. One is just with the glaze removed, which is perfect. And then I have this wood piece here that uh, comes from Arteza. You can get this from Arteza. Okay, there's 25 wood slices, and they call it premium. And in here, okay, you have these really nice wood pieces and then they have this bark really neat bark and then you have these rings here so if you want to know where to get them you can get them at uh, arteza.com so i'll just put that off to the side got my stuff here's here's one that i did and uh, i did not paint this one and yet you can see the wood ring is going through the images and stuff. I was very surprised that my hat came out white because there is no such thing as uh, white, you know, well, there is a such thing as white toner, but, but not in your, you know, everyday laser printer. Uh, normally that would be just the um, paper, 
the color of the paper showing through so they'd have no toner wherever there's white. So what happens is if you use an image that has white in it, there's no white ink in, or white toner in your printer. For most of us, there isn't. So what will happen is that if your background isn't light colored or white, then whatever the background happens to be will, will, will be the color of the uh, white items of your photo. So for myself, because a lot of my photos, for example, have a lot of white in it, there's a lot of white, I want it to come out really well, so I spray paint the, the wooden piece. But you have an option not to spray paint it, and it'll look something like that one. So now that I've got that all out of the way, let's, uh, let's pick one and start with it. Okay, this one here is kind of an old photo. It's not very saturated. Um, so I think I'm going to put it on the painted surface tile um, because it's not the richest color not like not like that one is or or that one these have much more color I'm going to use those on the others so let's go with this and I'm going to use in this case uh, Liquitex gel medium all right you can use any brand doesn't matter you can use Mod Podge that works too but I'm going to use gel medium I happen to like to use gel medium for most things and yes it's more expensive than Mod Podge so if you don't want to pay the extra uh, just use the Mod Podge or use white glue that'll work too all right and you want to make sure you want to make sure that you um, have no dry spots so I use my finger I go back and forth, make sure I have full coverage and that the gel medium is still wet everywhere because if, it, if it's dry anywhere or if you allow it to get dry or sticky, sticky means it's halfway between wet and dry. You don't want that. You want it wet. Just don't have it super soaking because then you're paper gets all wrinkled you don't want that all right so that should do it there we get a paper towel and I'm gonna hurry so I don't let this stuff dry and I'm, I guess I'm gonna try to center this as best I can okay and just press it on there real carefully try to make contact everywhere and start off like this just to prevent it from sliding around because it's wet gel medium. And then you're going to take a brayer from the center outwards. Okay, you want to get all the air out of there and you want 100% contact. Okay, anywhere that you don't have contact, you will not get a transfer. Anywhere that you have the glue dry, you will not get a transfer. Okay. So, those are all the important things that you need to know. Let's make sure you have 100% adhesive and 100% contact. All right. Okay, so I think I have it pressed in there pretty good. I can see some bubbles there, so I have to be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna let that just dry on its own for right now. I'll take a heat gun to it in a second, but I wanna get these other ones done. So, let's see, we're gonna do this wood one here, the painted wood. Okay, so let's glob on our gel medium. Okay. And just to make sure I got complete coverage, use my finger, make sure it's all wet and completely covered. Good. And this one, I'm going to do this photograph right here. I think it will cover it. 
I hope it will cover it. Okay, so let's say right there. I hope that's good. Okay, so I can see all the areas, all the air that I need to squeeze out of there. Because okay. the paper's lifted. So you go with your brayer, just kind of, I even have excess coming out. Okay. I'm going to put it on the back. That wasn't too smart. And this way. Okay. All right. So. I think I have good contact there. So let me put that off to the side. And I have one more. Now this is the. The tile with the glazed removed. So let's give that one a shot here and uh, paint on the old gel medium. And you know, I just think it was money well spent buying those hundred tiles because I mean, how cool it is to just. Put images on white tiles and you can embed them into custom furniture. Uh, my wife and I made a coffee table one time and we routed out the center and um, inlaid ceramic tile. Now I didn't use any image transfer stuff because I didn't invent the paper back then but if I was to do it now I would put maybe a family photo um, or something vacation photos, whatever, or maybe just little animals or whatever it is that you're into. And um, then take each one of those tiles and it inlaid into a piece of furniture or a piece of wood or whatever. Now that feels like it's getting a little on the sticky side. I need it to feel wet. So I'm gonna take a little bit more with my finger because the tile absorbs the moisture really quick because there's no glaze in there. Get rid of that little spec thing. Okay, and I don't want too much excess. That's usually just as bad as too little. Now that I have that coated, I'm going to use this here and put that right there. Squeegee off. Okay. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to I'm going to use my heat gun. I have this heat gun from the HippieCrafter.com people, and uh, it's a really neat little handheld. And I'm going to use that to quickly dry these in a few minutes. And I'm also going to go wash my brush because I like to reuse them. So when we get back, we'll be ready to uh, start peeling these uh, transfers and seeing how they came out on these three different surfaces. Be just a flash of light to you guys and a few minutes for me. If you want to look at that, there's the little handheld uh, heat gun from Hippie Crafter that I use. Used to use a hair dryer, you can use that, but that's nice and handy. I like the how compact it feels. All right, well now I've got these three, I believe, are dried. If they're not, I'm in trouble. So, now's the time for the great reveal. What you wanna do is get yourself a clean paper towel and some water. Okay, move those out of the way. And we're just going to add a little moisture to the back, spread it around with your finger, that's fine. You don't need to soak it to death, but you do want it to absorb a little bit of water, okay, just to help it release, okay. All right, take your paper towel and just Dab up the excess. All right, we're gonna peel off a corner here. 
and just kind of peel it over itself is the best way. Do it really nice and slow. Because if we have to lay this back down, we will. Make sure we're in the camera there. Okay. But it looks like we've got a good transfer going here for the most part. So. But uh, there's nothing left on the paper. Same with my wife. So. Okay. Now. This is not releasing right here, so there's no water right there. Soak that in a little bit. If this is the is this the painted one or not? All right, let's just dab off the excess again, and uh, there it comes off that way. Okay. It's a pretty decent picture. Our skin got a little bit of a skin rash. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put that off to the side there. Let's see. Let's try this one here. Gonna need another clean piece of towel, paper towel. Here's the painted wood. Let's uh, take off the excess moisture. Almost forgot. And peel it over itself. Wow. Okay, so we had a pretty clean removal there. And. Yeah, I like it painted on one side because then you get a rich color on your photo. Okay. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? You make all kinds of these little things and hang them around. Put a little hole in them and hang them. You put on your wall. I don't know. Use them as coasters. Pretty fascinating. Okay, so. We got those two there, and the last tile, and I wish I had marked the back so I know which one was the painted, and which one was just the glaze removed. But we will find out how it looks, one way or the other. Okay, I'll give me another piece of towel here. Get that soaked in. All right. That way you get the best release. Make sure these cameras are still running. Okay. Dab up the excess. Well, let's see. Now this this would have been the faded photograph of my family um, so this has to be the painted tile so should be interesting to see if it'll stick um, yeah it sticks all right the paper is sticking it's not coming off so I'll have to add some more water, but let's go peel it from the other side. There we go. Okay, we got everything off. All the paper, looks like, came off, right? Hmm. This one here looks bizarre. Hmm. 
Nothing's left on the paper. So I've got a lot of white paint here. <coughs> See? Okay, so. They look pretty cool. The wood ones are awesome. These were awesome right here. And this one. Tile and wood. Not too shabby. Well, hey guys. Thanks for sitting in with me while I uh, play around with my new toy here, these uh, these tiles. And I'm going to be doing a lot more tiles. I've, I've got lots of ideas for, for them. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to do some resin work with them too. But for right now, that's pretty cool. Makes great gifts. I hope you like this uh, video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be up informed of upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.